live with us. How about this gentleman right here, right here, my friend? How are you this morning? I'm doing good. What are you gonna sign on that finish line? What do you think I'm gonna sign? I'm gonna sign <laughs> Joe Biden. Oh no no no! We're not doing that. Sorry about that. That was why. That's the that's the risk we have here. When we broadcast <laughs> live from the track. We're I am dead. I love the American flag shirt. What are you gonna sign on the checkered line? Um, I just did. Would you like to see what I wrote? Well, just tell me. Is it clean? It's not clean. <laughs> well, Joe Biden. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Matt De Benedetto. So, so let's go, Brandon. Why? Gotta fight for God, country, and freedom. That's why. Oh, parts. They're gonna help kick this thing off. All right, guys, ready? In three, two, one. Drivers, start your engines. Let's go, Brandon. Forty-one. Just such an unbelievable moment. Brandon, you also told me. You can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon. You told me you were going to kind of hang back those first two stages and just watch and learn. What did you learn that helped you there in those closing laps? Yes, sir. So I want to ask you an interesting question about the interesting situation happened in NASCAR. We have a lot of Floridians that uh, follow NASCAR. They canceled the driver, for, uh, Brandon Brown, because of his sponsorship with LGB Coin. But on the other hand, they're letting Black Lives Matter sponsor cars. So I just want to get your thoughts on that. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with, with LGB coin. First of all, it wasn't Brandon's fault that any of this happened. You know, if you remember what happened, he was being interviewed at a NASCAR race. There were fans in the crowd who were chanting very colorful language about Biden. And it was obvious that that's what was happening. But then the reporter, I, and I don't know why, ran interference on that and said, oh, they're chanting, let's go, Brandon. Isn't that great? So that's why it took off, because people are looking at us say, wait a minute, you're gaslighting us again and we're sick of it. And so it's as much a rebuke to, you know, some of the some of the corporate media out there as it is uh, to, to Biden himself. But I mean, look, I, I think part of the problem is, you know, there are certain things that were OK in the last four years. You could say whatever you wanted about Trump. And that was fine. And you know what? I didn't complain about it. It's a free country. I mean, you know, it's not always the best thing to say, but fine. Now, all of a sudden, it all has to be sanitized just because the regime uh, doesn't want to have anybody uh, speak out against it. You know, I don't I don't think that's the way we want to go. So I um, I'm uh, very much in favor of letting people letting people speak their mind however they want to do it.